Happy New Year 2023, everybody. I want to wish you the very best. So let me show you this t-shirt that my wife bought me at the local bookstore. May the Lord be with you. Absolutely. Now, for our first New Year's resolution, let's factor 2023 like we did last year and find out what its prime factors are. Well, clearly it's not divisible by two, the smallest prime number, because it's not an even number. If you add the digits of 2023, two plus zero plus two plus three, giving you seven, seven is not divisible by three, so neither is this number. Clearly it's not divisible by five because it doesn't end in a five or a zero, but it is divisible by seven. In the end screen, I'll show you the video I did a couple years ago about divisibility by seven and also divisibility by three, so you can review those. What times seven gives you 2023? Well, you can use a calculator, you can do long division, but I'll just tell you, it turns out to be 289. Okay, what about 289? Well, you might know that's a perfect square, so it's equal to 17 times itself, or 17 squared. So may this be a perfect year for you, seeing that 17 squared or 289 which is a perfect square goes into 2023 so i want to leave you with one last verse this comes from a very ancient manuscript about 2000 years old and as you can see it says now may the lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every situation the lord be with you all so in conclusion, I want to wish you a very, very happy new year. Stay tuned for the end screen because it'll, re it'll refer to those two videos I made a few years ago about divisibility by three and divisibility by seven. All the very best. Take care.